Season 5 of Snap Happy is going to be huge. We have some great guests, heaps of photo tips and some amazing locations to share with you. Once again, Darren Leal is taking us on the road with World Photo Adventures. Here we are in Patagonia, one of the greatest places on our planet. The photographer's dream. You come to Patagonia for one reason fantastic landscapes, when in actual fact, there's some beautiful animals here too. Wow, I just had one of life's great experiences. Out walked out of, you know, a puma. <laughs> we all just went into panic mode to take photos, get the right position. And we got some stunning photographs. I'm so excited. We're in the beautiful state of Western Australia. One of the places here that's really a pretty place for photographers is the Pinnacles. And one of the new opportunities in this part of the world is the sand dunes. They're pure white, and I love the sculptured forms and shapes and lines, shades and tones that we're going to get over the next few days. It's ultimate creative week. Watch what we do. Do you need some help processing your photos? Well, you're in luck. Peter Eastway is taking us to a high mountain sheep station in New Zealand to bring us a new series of post-production tips. There's nothing better than coming back down to the homestead after a shoot, opening up Adobe Lightroom on my Wacom Mobile Studio Pro, and I am in post-production heaven. And of course, we catch up with some amazing guests. Richard Bennett, 13 books under his belt. Amazing. 46th year of shooting the Sydney Hobart. Phil Caravita, another Tasmanian. Shot weddings, family portraits, commercial work, and reinvented himself in his business to create these amazing books for business around Tasmania. Ian Vanderbilt, commercial photographer from Melbourne, shooting very high-end commercial. And on top of that, you've got Bruce Pottinger. There's nothing that Bruce doesn't know about photography. We're both using Lumix cameras now. We're using the new S series cameras. I'm using the S1R and Nikki's using the S1. We've been waiting for a camera like this to come out on the market for a really long time. And do you guys have a favourite lens that you're using? 50. Oh, 50 mil. Nifty 50. The 50 mil is like the sharpest lens I've ever, ever used. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. We produce premium photo books. We've got a range of different sizes, papers, cover materials to suit all kinds of projects. And we've got our uh, production facility right here in Sydney where all our books and other products are made. And we pride ourselves on the quality of our products. I met Russell Brown 20 years ago. He's the creative director at Adobe in the USA. He helps photographers learn about using tools like Lightroom and Photoshop. We are taking the opportunity here to capture some amazing photographs and I personally am capturing photographs with only mobile devices. Phones and 360 cameras, something that doesn't require a backpack. That's what we're here for, it's all about photography. I think fine art aerial is the area that people know me best for now. Fine art landscape but specifically fine art aerial, it's something I found a niche in. I've had six solo exhibitions in that area and a couple of major projects, so I am a witness to the dance between the water and the light. And every time I say that to myself, it's like, yeah, that's, that's what I like to do. I just get mesmerised by watching the light and the water and the shapes all work together. My Instagram journey was pretty crazy. I actually downloaded the app about eight years ago, used it as a hobby, but it got me into photography. I started on an iPhone, progressed to my first camera, and realised I was actually not bad with the camera. But I actually really loved the community on Instagram and that's what really hooked me into the platform. And I found myself with 200,000 followers in about a year and a half. So I think my dad was a big influence on my photography. My dad started photo tours back in the 80s and now I'm joining him with World Photo Adventures as a trainee. So I get to go to some amazing places which many people only dream of. We just love photography, like it is our tagline, but we just do workshops and talks and as much as selling cameras is important, we want to be able to be part of all the camera clubs, all the camera enthusiasts and just share our knowledge. We all just love photography and love the industry and just passionate about image making. Head on over to our website and sign up to the mailing list to keep updated and to take advantage of our exclusive offers. You'll also receive details on how to enter our new photo competition. Happy shooting!